Plank workout for flat stomach, burn belly fat, tone muscles, improve your health. This video is for you if you want to lose weight faster, burn belly fat, tone muscle, and improve your overall health. In this streaming video, you will learn about specific exercises that work the best when trying to lose weight, and a list of fat-burning drinks and typical food you should eat regularly to burn belly fat and lose weight quicker on your terms. Stay with the entire streaming duration to learn everything you must know. How to get a flat stomach in a month at home. So many people yearn to get rid of their flabby midsection, but that usually involves a whole lot of time and energy that not many of us can spare. Good thing there are things you can do on your own and at your own time to get the abs you never thought you could. The good news is that it's possible for you to get a flat stomach in a month, at home. You don't need special equipment. You don't even need to spend hours at the gym. All you need is a mat and a little discipline to do a few exercises each day. The following exercises were handpicked specifically for their effectiveness in getting rid of belly fat without the need for specialized equipment. For the entire month, do these exercises in succession every single day for six days a week. Give yourself a one-day break once a week to give your body ample time to rest. Then start another week and repeat the same exercises. Planks. On your mat, lie on your stomach. Then, hold yourself up using your forearms and your toes. Keep yourself stiff and straight, like a plank. Make sure that you don't sag. Hold this position for 30 seconds. Increase duration by 10 seconds per week so that you're doing 40 seconds on the second week, 50 seconds on the third week, and a full minute on the fourth week. Bicycle crunches. On your mat, lie on your back with your legs stretched out and your hands touching your ears. Raise your right knee towards your chest. Simultaneously, lift your upper body up and twist so your right knee and left elbow meet. Lower yourself back down to the starting position. Do the same with the left knee and the right elbow. Alternate between the two sides to complete 15 sets. Increase repetitions by increments of 5 each week. You'll be doing 20 on the second week, 25 on the third week, and 30 on the fourth week. Leg raises. On your mat, lie on your back with your arms at your sides. Keep your legs together and slowly lift them up at a 90 degree angle from the floor, hinging from the hips. Slowly lower your legs back down without touching the floor. Hold that position for a second before lifting your legs back up. Lower and lift your legs for a total of 10 times. Each week, increase your repetitions by increments of two so that you're doing 12 on the second week, 14 on the third week, and 16 on the fourth week. Bird dogs. On your mat, hold yourself up on all fours. Your knees should be bent and your arms should be extended below your shoulders. Stretch your right arm out in front of you while stretching your left leg out behind you. Your right arm and left leg should be parallel to the floor. Hold this position for two seconds before going back to the starting position. Do the same for the left arm and the right leg. Repeat this movement until you have completed 20 sets. Rather than increasing repetitions, increase the position hold by two seconds each week. If you're holding for two seconds on the first week, your hold should total four seconds on the second week, six seconds on the third week, and eight seconds on the fourth week. How to get a flat stomach in a month at home won't be easy, but it's doable. All you need to do is follow this program to the best of your ability. No cheating. If you're ever feeling discouraged, think that it will all be worth it. For the best results, combine this program with a healthy portion-controlled diet. Soon enough, you'll have the abs you've always wanted without ever having to spend time at the gym. Drinks to burn belly fat fast. Five homemade drinks to burn belly fat quicker. Following a balanced diet and exercising regularly are sure ways to trim your waist. But did you know that consuming certain beverages could help you achieve a slimmer torso? 
These drinks will detoxify your system, improve your digestion, and boost your fat-burning capacity. However, you must drink varieties of these fat-burning drinks regularly. And to do that, you must know the recipes and how to prepare them. So watch the entire video and pay attention to see the formula for each drink and how they are prepared correctly. Before we continue, please like the video, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you will be notified when I upload the next video. Here are five drinks you can make at home to burn your belly fat quicker. 1. Cinnamon Water Cinnamon is a spice that has long been used for weight management, but it isn't just the natural medicine community that swears by its effectiveness. In a meta-analysis published by the Scottish journal Clinical Nutrition in 2020, researchers found that supplementing with cinnamon has positive effects on body weight and fat mass, BMI, and waist size. To burn fat faster using cinnamon, follow this recipe. Ingredients 24 ounces water 3 cinnamon sticks 1 tablespoon raw honey Procedure Place the water and cinnamon into a pot. Bring the water to a boil. Let simmer for 10 minutes. Remove from heat and let the water cool down before adding the honey. Sip in small quantities throughout the day. 2. ACV Detoxifier In 2009, the journal Bioscience, Biotechnology, and Biochemistry published a study on the effects of acetic acid on obese patients. According to the study results, Consuming acetic acid helps lower cholesterol, lower body weight, and decrease body fat mass. Apple cider vinegar is one of the best sources of acetic acid and offers plenty of other benefits to your digestive system. If you want to make the most of it to help burn your fat more quickly, here's a recipe you can follow. Ingredients 24 ounces water 6 tablespoons apple cider vinegar 3 tablespoons raw honey 1 quarter teaspoon cayenne pepper. Procedure Combine water, vinegar, honey, and pepper. Stir until the honey is fully dissolved. Drink throughout the day, especially before meals. 3. Pineapple Smoothie In a 2018 study published by Food Science and Biotechnology, researchers found that pineapple juice has incredible anti obesity effects. Consuming it doesn't just help burn the fat you already have, but keeps you from storing more from your food. The best way to enjoy pineapple in a way that supports fat burning is to create a smoothie that you can take in place of a snack or dessert. Here is a recipe you can follow. Ingredients 1 cup pineapples, fresh or frozen 1 quarter cup Greek yogurt 1 half cup crushed ice, optional Procedure Combine all ingredients in a blender. Blend until smooth. Enjoy cold. 4. Citrus Fat Buster In a study published by the American Chemical Society in 2016, researchers found that citrus fruits help prevent obesity. Apart from reducing fat accumulation, these fruits contain antioxidants that help repair the body from everyday stresses. If you want to use citrus fruits to accelerate fat burning, Here's a recipe you should try. Ingredients 64 ounces water 6 slices grapefruit 1 tangerine sliced 1 half cucumber sliced Small bunch mint leaves Procedure Combine all ingredients in a pitcher. Let it sit overnight. The next day, pour over ice and drink throughout the day. 5. Lemon and Green Tea According to a study review published by Advances in Nutrition in 2013, there is increasing evidence that green tea consumption is positively related to fat loss. Although its effects during exercise are currently unclear, available research shows that drinking green tea improves your body's capacity to burn fat even while you're at rest. To benefit from green tea's fat-burning capacity, here's a drink you can easily prepare at home. Ingredients 1 cup hot water 1 bag green tea 1 quarter lemon wedge Procedure Place the tea bag in a cup of hot water Steep the tea bag for 3 minutes Remove the tea bag Squeeze the juice of your lemon wedge into your tea 
Sip slowly. These beverages contain ingredients that are proven effective in boosting your body's capacity to burn fat. Taking these as fluids will further help you achieve your weight loss goals. Make these drinks yourself and add them to your daily diet so that you can enjoy a slimmer and sexier waist. Here are the study references we use to create this video. Best Belly Fat Burning Foods 10 Foods You Should Eat Regularly to Lose Weight Are you looking to lose weight but are confused about what to eat to help you lose weight? If you are, do not worry, you are not alone. Losing weight is never easy, and finding the type of diet that works can be complex sometimes. In this video, we will share with you foods that can help you do just that, lose weight. Although some people might prefer having rules and structure to guide them, it is not always necessary to follow a diet plan to lose weight. Likewise, though a structure is required in certain circumstances, it is not always a must. Instead, all you need to do is eat certain foods that are known to make people feel full for longer and help them eat less throughout the day. Specifically, certain types of foods that will boost your metabolism and help you burn fat. Following are 10 foods we believe you should eat more and often to help you burn fat, boost your metabolism, and help you lose weight. 1. Salad Greens Salad greens are some of the world's least calorie-dense foods. In fact, a 100-gram serving of romaine lettuce would only contain 17 calories. According to a study published by the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition in 2007, this is precisely the kind of foods that will help you control hunger while trying to lose weight. 2. Tree Nuts Tree nuts are excellent sources of healthy fats that keep you sated for longer. Additionally, in a study published by the Journal of Research in Medical Sciences, researchers compared the weight loss journeys of people who ate almonds versus those who don't eat nuts at all. They found that those who include almonds in their diet lost much more weight, but also had better heart health. Although the study was specifically for almonds, other tree nuts like walnuts and cashews are expected to offer similar results. 3. Lean Chicken Breast A high-protein diet is one of the best ways to lose weight. In fact, according to a study published by the American Society for Nutrition, Eating protein-rich food is one of the best ways to treat or even prevent obesity. Lean chicken breast is one of your best options as it has the highest amount of protein among common types of meat. A single 6-ounce serving of chicken breast will give you over 100% of your daily protein needs. 4. Eggs Eggs are another excellent way to boost your daily protein consumption, but more beneficial than its protein content is its ability to keep you sated. Based on a study published by the International Journal of Obesity, among the best things you can do to lose weight is to replace a typically carbohydrate-heavy breakfast with eggs. 5. Oatmeal Oatmeal is an excellent source of healthy fiber that will have positive effects on your digestive system. But according to a study published by Molecular Nutrition and Food Research, the beta-glucan content of oats also make them an excellent food choice for reducing total daily calorie intake and improving insulin responses. Ultimately, all these effects lead to steady weight loss. 6. Boiled Potatoes Potatoes are probably not the first foods you'd reach for when you're trying to lose weight because they're known to be starchy and filled with carbohydrates. However, according to a European Journal of Clinical Nutrition study in 1995, boiled potatoes are the top food item you can eat to help you feel full for longer. That means you end up consuming fewer calories per day, which will quickly lead to significant weight loss. 7. Vegetable Soup Soup can be eaten before a meal or as the main meal itself, but no matter how you choose to take it, Eating soup as part of your diet will help you lose weight. 
according to a study published by the British Journal of Nutrition in 2014. Soup is not just an excellent aid for weight management, but for preventing obesity. In the study, researchers found that those who consume soup weigh less and have smaller waists. Opting for clear vegetable soups rather than thick, creamy ones will give you the best results. 8. Greek Yogurt Consuming Greek yogurt is an excellent way to satisfy dessert cravings. Additionally, it is an excellent source of protein that can help boost muscle growth and fat loss. Furthermore, good quality Greek yogurt is rich in live microorganisms that support proper gut health. With a healthy digestive system, you can better absorb the nutrients from your meals quicker and keep them from storing excessive fat. 9. Popcorn Popcorn is one of the best things you can reach for when you're craving junk food. Not only is it remarkably filling, but it is also known as a low-calorie snack. Popcorn contains over four times fewer calories than the average potato chips brand. Be careful though, because you might be tempted to add some flavoring. Although it is better to eat it plain, opt for salt rather than butter if you need more flavor. 10. Chia Seeds Chia seeds are an excellent source of fiber, which promotes healthy digestion. Furthermore, a study published by Brazil's respected journal, Nutrition Hospitalaria, found that regular consumption of chia seeds for a span of 12 weeks can lead to significant weight loss and a considerable reduction in waist circumference. Additionally, it improves the dieter's cholesterol levels. These 10 foods you should eat regularly to lose weight are easy enough to incorporate into your meals. They are also relatively inexpensive and easy to find. The best part is that they are proven by research to boost your metabolism, burn belly fat, and help you lose weight. How to Plank Properly for Beginners What single exercise works your core and your entire body? Strengthens your spine, trapezius, abdominal muscles, your rhomboids, and much more? That exercise is the plank. In this video, I will show you how to do plank exercise properly as a beginner. The plank is always touted as the best exercise you can do because it engages large groups of muscles across your entire body. Plus, you can do it anywhere. And it only takes a few seconds, or minutes if you are advanced. Although it is generally done to condition the core, it does not just involve your abdominals, but also your legs and shoulders. That is why many fitness experts recommend doing planks daily. The problem with planks is that there is a specific way to do it properly, and it is not as easy as it may seem at first. If you are interested in gaining all the toning benefits of this isometric exercise, make sure you take the time to learn how to plank correctly. Here is how you should begin. Standard Plank Start with a standard plank, also called a high plank, where your arms are straightened out and your hands are flat on the mat instead of your forearms. Forearm planks are more popular, but are slightly more challenging to do correctly. You can always try forearm planks and other variations later. To do the standard plank properly, follow these steps. Lie belly side down on a mat. Flex your feet so that your toes are on the mat. Make sure your feet are less than hip width apart. Then place your palms on the mat right beside your shoulders. Take a deep breath before pushing your body up and straightening your arms. Keep your elbow locked to help with your stability. At your highest position, your entire body should make a straight line. So do not let your butt sag down and make sure your belly is pressed against your spine. Also, keep your head neutral, making sure your chin is not pointing out nor tucked towards your chest. If you get the plank right, you will feel all your muscles engaged at the same time. You probably need to adjust your position if you start getting pain in your back or shoulders. Forearm Plank Although the high plank engages more muscle groups, the forearm plank is the more popular variation because it has better effects on the core muscles. That also means it is more challenging, but if you have learned the high plank and are ready for a challenge, 
Dry the forearm plank through the following steps. Lie belly side down on a mat. Keep your feet less than hip width apart and flex them so that your toes are touching the mat. Instead of your palms, press your entire forearm to the floor and lift your body off the mat. Balance your entire weight between your toes and your forearms. Make sure that your elbows are right below your shoulder. You can clasp your hands together or keep them parallel to each other. As with a high plank, make sure that your body forms a straight line. Activate your abdominal muscles and keep your butt from sagging down. Also, do not forget to keep your head neutral or you risk hurting your neck. As you hold your plank, pay attention to your breathing. Avoid holding your breath or breathing too shallowly. Try to breathe as normally as you can. Once you learn how to plank correctly, you can start working on duration. In the beginning, 30 seconds might already be challenging, but as it gets easier, keep increasing your planks in 5 second increments. Soon you will find that you can hold it for a whole minute or more, which is when you will benefit from this exercise the most. Try doing this at least 6 times a week and keep challenging yourself. Not only will you be able to continue strengthening your core and tone your stability muscles, but also improve your posture and even your metabolism. How to Plank Exercise If you watch your diet and participate in regular physical activities and want to have a toned and flat tummy, what exercise should you add to make that happen? Can you guess what type of exercise you need to make that happen for you? The answer is plank. If you watch your diet, planking will almost guarantee you a flat stomach. Planks are generally regarded as the best exercise you can do for your body. It is convenient to do since you can do it practically anywhere. You don't need any special equipment and you can always make it more challenging by holding your plank for longer. But the most critical benefit of planks is that it engages all your major muscle groups. The plank exercise is mainly used to strengthen your torso. That involves not just your abdomen, but also your back. By doing this regularly, you can improve your posture, develop a stronger core, and correct some balance issues. Beyond the core, the plank pose also helps strengthen the muscles around your arms, neck, buttocks, and legs. Additionally, it will make your hands, wrists, ankles, and toes stronger. And do not be surprised if you start noticing some six-pack abs developing the longer you do plank exercises. The key is holding your plank for a longer duration from 180 seconds and above. The longer, the better. There are two basic types of planks. The first is the standard high plank, and the other is called a forearm plank. Here's how to do each of them correctly. Standard high plank. Place your hands right below your shoulders and keep your arms straight. Tuck your toes under and ground them into the floor. Keep your legs straight and close together. At this point, you should be holding up your entire body weight with only your hands and toes. Ensure you keep your glutes from dropping to the ground and that your neck is neutral to avoid strain. Once you get the position right, breathe normally as you hold the plank until your timer runs out. Forearm Plank Bend your elbow and hold yourself up with your forearms. Make sure that your elbows are right below your shoulders. Tuck your toes under and ground them into the floor. Just like the standard high plank, you'll also need to keep your legs close together with your knees straight but not locked or hyperextended. You know you have the right form when your body resembles an actual plank. The line you form from your heels to the top of your head should be a gradual incline. Be mindful of your butt so that it doesn't sag down and also keep your neck neutral. Don't bend it down or gaze up to keep from straining it. Once you get the position right, breathe slowly and evenly as you hold the position until your timer runs out. The high plank and forearm plank basically offer the same benefits to your body. Choosing between the two will mainly be based on what you prefer. No matter which one you choose, make sure you challenge yourself. Start with 15 seconds and gradually lengthen your hold until you can hold it for at least 2 minutes. 
Two and a half minutes is better than two minutes. And three minutes is better than two and a half minutes. You get the picture. The longer, the better. There is some debate as to whether there are advantages to holding this position beyond the two-minute mark. At that point, it might be better for you to make it even more challenging by turning it into a compound exercise. My answer to that question is, yes, the longer the better. However, it must be all proper form, from the beginning to the end. Otherwise, it is no longer a plank exercise. Also, keep in mind that it is only safe and beneficial when done with proper form. So don't challenge yourself so much that you compromise your form or even your breathing. Nevertheless, the longer you can hold your plank, the stronger and more defined your muscles will be, including a flatter stomach. Side Plank Exercise How to do side plank properly for beginners The side plank is one of the best exercises you can do to trim your obliques and get rid of your muffin top. Additionally, it improves your core strength, which is essential to good posture and improving your overall skeletal muscle. However, it would be best if you do it correctly to gain the maximum benefits from this exercise. Before we continue, please like the video, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you will be notified when I upload the next video. If you're new to side planks, here's a step-by-step -step guide you can follow to make sure that you do it correctly and in a way that will give you the best and quickest results. Step 1. Get on an exercise mat and lie on your right side. Keep your legs closed and your left foot stacked over your right foot. Step 2. Prop your upper body up using your right palm. Your elbows should be locked and should create a straight line from your shoulder to your palms. Step 3. Rest your left arm along your torso or place your hand at your waist, whichever feels more comfortable. Don't press your left palm on the mat, as doing so will keep you from doing the plank properly. Step 4. Create a plank with your body by raising your hips from the floor. The key is to make sure your hips are not held too high nor too low that they sag to the ground. You should be able to create a perfectly straight diagonal line from your head to your feet. Step 5. Hold this plank position for 20 seconds. Don't worry if your arms or torso start to shake. Stay as still as you can and take even breaths until your timer runs out. Step 6. Once you reach the 20 second mark, you can let go of the plank. Let your body rest for 10 seconds and repeat the plank on the other side. When you're starting, don't worry too much about being unable to complete the 20-second plank. Complete as much of it as you can and try the next day again. As you keep persevering, you'll get stronger and notice that the planks become easier. When that happens, keep challenging yourself to do longer and longer planks until you're able to complete a full minute of side planks. Doing planks the wrong way could do more harm than good. However, if you follow this step-by-step -step guide for doing side planks correctly, you can gain all the benefits of this simple yet highly beneficial core exercise. Do these daily for progressively extended periods to sculpt your obliques and have the sexy-looking waist you never thought possible. I hope you liked the video. Please do not forget to like subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Thank you.